Hi guys, Lady Random here, and welcome back to APM Season 2. Oh yes. Yeah, we're standing on the site. And you can see it's quite recent because the grass is still growing. Of our little starter home that we were in in the last episode. Yeah, stuff's been changing, so ta-da! Yeah, it's not probably from, from an aspect of physics at this stage uh, it's probably not um, true to life in that respect so we've got a little bit of work to do um, I'm just trying to get the the basic platforms themselves um, worked out but um, I'm obviously going to be adding in some supports uh, to all of the buildings and stuff like that just to make it kind of a little bit more um, true to life or as close to true to life as I can imagine it but uh, why don't we take a little bit of a look at what we've been up to oh and the pumpkins are growing so we have our little panda here that's actually you know he probably could do the little bite to eat let's chuck him a little bit of bamboo shall we there you go, my dearest. Uh, but we've been capturing cows, and I discovered something interesting about cows that I didn't realise until this point. But all of these cows are different. And I thought it was simply a case that these cows... Yes, I know that the uh, these ones drop brown wool. Um, but I kind of figured that all the cows kind of did the same thing, and they kind of bred with each other. But no, they don't. You can only breed the cows that look the same with each other so yeah that's probably kind of dumb probably people are sitting there going well duh um but yeah i've only just figured this out so you can't breed the woolly cows with the kind of peachy colored cows or the black and white cows um they have to be the same so yeah there's a thing so obviously down here i've kind of dressed this up a little bit i've not really done anything more with the mine um i need to get the stairs sorted out the main changes are around the back so i've put a fence uh, that now goes all the way around and it kind of encompasses up to this big tree here and obviously that tree next to it and it goes out as you can see just down to just behind where our previous house was. I've planted a couple more trees which I'm just using to gather the wood for what we need. Uh, we obviously had a nether portal but as you can see we've knocked through here and we now have a ladder going up. Now this ladder here uh, typically it's going to come down light now isn't it so this is it's a bit precarious um this is not my usual levels of health and safety but i will be putting proper stairs and stuff like that into here but this is going to be a platform haven't decided what's going to be on this just yet but this is extending out and there's going to be some support going out into these trees here let's sleep quickly There we go, just get it back to date. Just because we don't want any nastiness to happen. It should be plenty well lit up here, but that's fine. But uh, yeah, so this is this is ground level effectively here. So I've just got the dirt platform down just so I can place um, place these. So I want them the way that I want them to be. Um, we're also gonna obviously have a platform extending out to this tree here. So that will go from this tree out to that one. It may be that we do it platform to platform, i.e. we have a platform here and we have some kind of doorway over to it from there. Haven't quite decided at that point, but check this view out though. We can see so far from here, we get up onto here, you get a really nice view of the area. See, I'm looking up there, that big hill up there. All of the mountains, you've got spruce forest over that way. Can't quite see what we've got over that way. But yeah, this jungle actually is huge when you're up here. Um, but yeah, we're going, we're going to be seeing a little more of that. But uh, that is this. Now we can cheaty our way down and go down the uh, tree vines. But we're not going to do that because we want to carry on up. So if we continue up here... 
we've got this little doorway which is kind of nice I'm not putting any doors on anything um the idea is is that I'm just going to have vines sort of obscuring things it's going to be lit up well enough that nothing's going to spawn up here and nothing can get up the ladders here is my parrot collection so far so I still want one of the uh the ones that looks a bit more like a either a gray African gray type thing but we've got the other parrots here and this is kind of our storage area as it is at the moment so it may be that if we outgrow this we actually need to move our storage area over that way turn this maybe into like our enchanting room or something like that but i've just put a little window in i need to put some glass in i've just put our basic machines down um basic chests etc haven't finished labeling i literally just finished moving them before we started recording so that is pretty much what we've been doing so we can just go back down the ladder and at the other side but i kind of thought that was that was a nice kind of way of getting into the base um so yes yeah, so i've got a bit of work to do it's as i said it's a bit rough and ready at the moment it's defying the laws of physics and gravity um but we will of course remedy that as we go the uh, reason i've got the cows is for leather or is another source of leather anyway um so we can uh, obviously make the books that we need to make to a get our enchanting room sorted and b um so we can help um bullethead with supplying books for the bookshop so yeah all going well so far but i kind of thought we might actually go on a little bit of little bit of an explore today so i did discover bear with me while i just get my uh, my little my little notebook that has the coordinates written down i did discover a uh jungle temple so that's at 10774-1878 so that is going this way now i haven't actually put a gate in here um i ought to put a gate in here actually so we can go out but i'm just gonna knock it through for the minute we've got enough got enough on our sword we've got well we've got a pick we've got bits and pieces like that so if we oh look is that another panda i think it might be hello look mr pa oh hello cave system down there potentially that could be worth a little explore and i hear the sound of skeletons a little ossily lot oh i'm gonna grab i know it's crazy to stop the things but bearing in mind that i need the wood i might as well get it but i think it's over so 10 7, 7, 4, so we're not actually too far this way if we start heading in this direction I'm not too worried about uh, gathering any more bamboo for the moment hopefully if i got my coordinates right it shouldn't be too far ah there we go we got a jungle temple we got a jungle temple people so i kind of thought why don't we try and explore this this thing naturally all sorts of nasty noises seem to uh, start happening mm. once we get close to this now we know the score with these the loot tends to be a bit rubbish tends to be a bit rubbish but i don't know whether there's another entrance to this doesn't look like it so why don't we just gather couple of dirt blocks and I've come out without torches but the good news is other side from the fact that I can hear husks and things the good news is there was some coal down here so let's just very quickly gather the coal I was just too excited nine sticks so we can make nine torches there we go 
okay 36 in theory that should be enough in theory but right let's get ourselves back up here and entrance we were going to let's try going in this way we'll start on the upper level and we'll just pop we'll pop a few torches round chances are oh there's a creeper awesome well there we go he's probably done some of the work for us to be fair just fill in fill in the gaps a little bit good place to be uh, robbing out a bunch of stuff but yeah this is where we need to be a little bit more cautious and be looking out for the trip wires I've always never been too sure there we go heard something move there yeah there it is there we go we shall take you Okay, and we've got a trapped chest there. Should have stood out of the way of that, really. Let's get in there. We'll have the arrows. Absolutely have the arrows. In fact, I always like to rob these out, to be fair. Just because it's always good to have. stuff so I'm going to take all the redstone and grab all the mossy cobble bits because to be fair half the time this is probably better than the uh, the actual loot that's in the chest because it tends to be a bit rubbish Here we go, here's all the stuff we like. This is the stuff that actually makes it worthwhile, right? Does anybody actually do these things properly anyway? To be fair. Ooh. What have we got? Oh, okay. That's a lot of gold. That is a lot of gold. I'm actually quite shocked by that. Because you don't normally get gold to that kind of level in these. Because like I said, normally they're a bit rubbish. What have we got in this one? <gasps> More golden bones. Okay, and some bamboo. That's not bad. That's 26 gold. I'll take that. Ooh extra bit of redstone there but yeah sorry for never doing these properly but I just like I don't see the point you know we all know there's trip wires we all know there's dispensers but it's just a bit of fun right at the end of the day it's a bit of fun and it's also a bit of night as well so let's have a little sleep there we go and then we need to find our way back. Now there's every possibility that stuff has spawned in here because it's a bit woody to say the least. Oh, pumpkin. Oh, and a witch. Well, let's just see if we can just deal with her really quickly. Ugh. 
Annoying. Never mind, that's our own fault. To be fair, that is completely our own fault. Oh, well, you can stop ticking now. Let's get ourselves back up here. And we can start working our way back. So yeah, like I said, it's not not a terrific distance from base. Let's just make sure we're going the right way. Ooh, brown cow. We can find our way back. Ooh, and a sheepy. I will take your goodies. So yeah, so we need to head back. Not massively worried about the bamboo. There we go. See how close that was to our base? Stupidly close. And let's just pop down here and break our way through. So there was our little adventure. So I said nothing particularly exciting. Other than we've gained a few little bits and pieces, which is kind of handy that we need. And our grass has grown back. And we've got some more pumpkins. So that is all good. So at least we have a couple of bits because the sticky pistons are going to come in useful. Because what I would like to do um, is to build... Uh, where's my... Oh, there's my, my food chest. some sugar that can go in the food chest we'll put the redstone there we'll get the gold in there because that's always nice to have uh, we can put our blocks of cobble uh, yeah I'm just keeping bamboo and things like that here so this is this is kind of our sort of oddities uh, chest at the moment so we'll keep the dispensers in there the lever that's for mob drops and we'll put the stairs into there as well but yeah I'm not going to argue it's given us a couple of extra bits of string I was hoping there'd be a few um, cobwebs or the such like uh, that we would be able to use but sadly not because I need string oops not you I need string quite badly uh, because of uh, trying to make the scaffolding because I want to use scaffolding as part of the uh, part of the build if we can let's just try and get our health back up again but so yeah that is pretty much pretty much what I've been up to so uh, yeah I still need to do a bit of work as I said I've got other other rooms to build I've got other bits to link I need to kind of try and make the uh, the branches kind of splay out a little bit so they look like they're actually supporting the structures a little bit more so there's a bit of work there um, the challenge with that is obviously trying to get the uh, the logs to lay the way that you want them to but uh, we'll work it out we will work it out but I think what we'll do is call it an episode at that point Thank you guys all very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Um, hopefully we can get our spawn tunnel linked up. So I've started in the nether, kind of heading towards spawn. I'm trying to build myself a little bit of it. It's literally a too high tunnel at the moment just to try and get the, the location before I actually start trying to build something. And it's ending up going across some fairly icky terrain. So I'm zigzagging about quite a bit, which is a bit of a pain. But anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.